This tutorial is for Easy Interactive Tools, which is the free interactive software provided with Brightlink for use when connected to a PC or Macintosh computer. If you are not sure if you have this software, you can watch the video in this series titled Downloading and Installing the Easy Interactive Tools. The Easy Interactive Tools Interactive Mode has a toolbar that appears on the projected image and lets you use the pen as a mouse to open applications and access links. You can annotate whatever is being displayed from your computer and save and print your pages. To choose Interactive Mode, just tap the icon at the top of the toolbar. The toolbar appears on whatever image is being projected. Here I'm projecting the desktop of my computer. To use the interactive pen as a mouse, I want to make sure I have the mouse tool selected. You can tap on it to select it. Using my pen as a mouse, I can tap to open my web browser. On the web page, I can navigate through the links and pages using the pen. Let's take a look at some of the annotation tools. Towards the bottom of the toolbar, we see pen and highlighter tools, and also erase tools. There are three pen tools of different colors and thicknesses, and also a custom pen and highlighter. I'll tap to choose the custom pen tool. Now I can tap the arrow icon and customize this tool. Here I can set a thickness and a color for the tool. I'll choose light blue for the color and increase the thickness. Now I can draw with the pen and annotate on this web page. At the bottom there are two erase tools. I'll tap on the eraser, which is the top one. And now I can erase what I just drew. Below this tool, I can tap and choose to clear the entire screen. When you have an annotation tool selected and you want to go back to using the pen as a mouse and navigate around your computer, tap the mouse button over on the toolbar again. To save your annotated pages, tap the Save button on the right side of the toolbar. Now you can choose a location on your computer to save it, and use the on-screen keyboard that appears to enter a file name. If I tap on Save As Type, you can see I can choose JPEG, Bitmap, PNG, or PDF. I'll choose JPEG and tap Save. Finally, you may want to print the pages that you create. For example, if you wanted to distribute the annotated pages to a class, just tap the Other Tools button, and then tap the Print button. Now you can choose your printer, adjust the settings, and tap Print when you're ready to print your pages.